All right, guys, before we jump in, I just want to say quickly, this update is fucking huge, guys. Seriously, I go through literally everything. So make sure you guys are chill, ready for the next half an hour of your lives to uh, listen to updates. It's definitely worth it. This is an insanely good update. I highly recommend. the. I will try and leave the link in the description below for the uh, update if you want to read them yourself. But if you want to sit back and listen, then feel free to. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video, guys. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, we are back with another Ghost Recon Breakpoint patch notes. This is title update 1.0.3. On your PlayStation, it will say 1.04, but it's not. It's title update 1.0.3. So uh, just so you guys are aware, like in case you think something's wrong, it's not. It's just uh, that's just the way the PlayStation seems to do it. Um, this is fucking massive, guys. Um, not just not the download itself. The download itself is big. It's seven gig on PlayStation and Xbox One, and six point seven on PC. Uh, it's massive, but all the updates they've done are huge. I think we're gonna notice a real difference in the game. Um, there is another update. Uh, update one point zero point three point one, I believe. Uh, in only a couple of weeks, they've done this, and then they've yeah, it's gonna be the end of November. They are they're gonna do that. Um, so that will be just to tweak little things that maybe did not go well with this update. Uh, but we're going to jump right in. Um, there's a lot to do, so uh, let's do it. All right, before we jump into it, the gameplay is just completely random in the background, as always, for these, like, nothing in particular. I don't expect nothing amazing, as always, but just so you guys know. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight... Just so you guys know, the uh, gameplay in the background is completely random, as always, nothing uh, in particular. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So, we've got Patch Highlights. As our first one, this is just the uh, the general things that don't particularly have a category. Uh, fixed an issue where um, fixed an issue that caused the drone to stop deploying on some occasions. If you played this game for more than ten hours, you've experienced this, bro. It is painful. Me and my friend have had this where it's literally happened for like two straight days. It kills, man. It's so annoying. Next up, fix a bug that causes some players to respawn under the map. Never happened to me. So okay. Fix an issue where changing fire rate while ADS deployed the drone. I never had that. I could hardly ever deploy my bloody drone, so that wasn't an issue. Fix an issue where the L3 GP night vision goggles blocked the weapon reticle while in third person view. Yes, because the night vision goggles are stupidly big. They look hideous. Fix an issue where the mission completion tutorial popped up, um, uh, pop up would display after every loading screen. That was so annoying. I'm glad they fixed it. Uh, improvements made to the issue where scopes would flicker when players ADS. Uh, also in patch highlights, we've got a few small things from Ghost War. Sniper weapons, um, no longer one shot while using the Rolling Thunder perk. Fixes implemented to Ghost War stat tracking. Ghost War stats are now displayed correctly in the loadout menus. Shooting down enemies will no longer trigger hit confirmations. Added a cooldown to the ping system to avoid spam. Yes, good job. Good job, guys. Mission interaction is now prioritised over vehicle interaction. Thank you. Players can now do a camera shoulder swap while in cover. It will also rotate the main player on the spot. That is great. Um, if you guys don't know what I mean, it's just technically cover switch where you're if if you're at a corner of a cover and um, it is uh, and it is uh, what's it called? You're on the left side, but you look on the right side. You now just press R1 and you will swap to the correct side. That is great. Next up, uh, 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 blah, blah, blah. Next up, a small few fixes for stamina. Increase the base stamina by 66%. Increase stamina regen speed by 75%. Reduce the stamina consumed when sliding by 50%. That is great. That's what we needed. Fix the bug where players could get stuck after using their abilities or frags while Panther class is equipped. Never had any issues with the class itself, so that's that's new. Um, realign the angle of the paramatic night vision goggles to align better with character's eyes. So that was just a uh, more vision based issue. Um, yeah, so next up we've got the full patch notes. This is where we have categories. We have a lot of categories here, so we're going to start with AI. So obviously all interactions with the computer automated characters. Improved AI behavior of Carl's driving pass in the A Great Escape mission. Fix an issue where turrets do not follow the players. Uh, fix an issue where the turret cannons did not turn with the player's camera. Fix an issue where turrets sometimes become unstable by players after being hacked. Fix an issue where enemies would sometimes break cover before reacting to players. 
Fixed an issue where enemies would sometimes stop aiming directly at the players if they broke visual contact. Fixed AI navigation path for an enemies in Fenbog testing zone. Fixed an issue where the NPC behavior while exiting a vehicle they were stowed in if the player shot the vehicle. There are so many here, guys. Fixed an issue where sometimes the enemies in the helicopters would not detect players. But that now fucking happened to me. I was detected left, right, and sent away every helicopter ever. Uh, fixed an issue uh, where the Tapian Air Patrol crew would survive a crash. Uh, fixed an issue where convoy escort enemies would stop firing at players if they got behind them. Fixed an issue where enemies would not spread an alert after players host migration. Fixed an issue where wolves could detect and shoot players through submarine bay at the entrance of Shark Bay. Never had that, but sometimes the wolves do some dodgy shit. <laughs> so maybe I have had that, I just haven't realised where I've been. Fixed an issue where the NPCs remain stuck after being free during a mission. Fixed an issue where enemy patrols would get stuck at a, a, at a specific location on Scale Foundation Campus. That's a big place as well. Fixed an issue where NPC remained stuck in a vehicle after instead of exiting. Fixed an issue where drone and enemies blocked each other and remained stuck. Fixed an issue where hunter drones spawned at inconsistent distances. That's all of them for AI. So a lot of AI fixes, man. A lot of enemy fixes. Uh, a lot of things where uh, the enemies obviously are being too OP or are being beaten by some poor glitches. Next up, we have animation. Fixed an animation bug where the character sometimes used the adaptive aim animation um, with no reason, not near a wall or an obstacle. Fixed wolf's coat texture near second crash site. Fixed character animation when trying to go under a small waterfall. Added spasm animation when an ally is being revived by a medic's drone. Ah, oh, okay, so it's a bit more than a bit more of an obvious drone. Okay. Uh, added a delay to player detection during the healing animation when using the revive drone. That's good. Fixed animation replication bug when teammates were killed while carrying body. Next up, we've got audio. Uh, fixed audio issue where Fury figure sometimes had male voices during interrogation scenes. <laughs> that is quality. What the fuck? Fixed an issue where players couldn't hear outdoors sometimes. Fixed an issue where players couldn't hear outdoor sounds from inside the building in Aurora, Aurora Data Farm Camp. Fixed surrounding sound issue at the battery farm underground settlement. Fixed an issue where the data transfer sound kept playing when, play, when players were interrupted during a hack. Fixed an audio issue in Scales Villa where players could hear the rain while indoors. Fixed an audio issue where firing or explosion sounds could not be heard if players were in different environments, indoor slash outdoor. Fixed an issue where the medic skill sounds were not always present. Next up, we've got, and please don't kill me if I mispronounce it, Boviac or Biviac. Boviac. I think it's Boviac or Biviac. The camp is what I'm saying. Fixed an issue where sometimes players would be standing if joined when deploying the Biviac, the Boviac. Fix an issue where players would sometimes get an infinite loading screen when entering a player card from the Boviac menu. Fix an issue where the Boviac behavior would be corrupted if a teammate logged out, then the player was deploying the Boviac. Fix an issue where the character's backpack would sometimes be invisible in the Boviac. Yeah, that does happen, that's a bit annoying. Fix an issue where players could sometimes get stuck or get killed in action, KIA, when breaking camp from the Boviac. Uh, that was my friend, I think. I swear to God, he got in the camp and died. Um, fixed an issue where the camera transition did not work properly if a player was in the tack map menu while breaking the camp for Boviac. Next up, we have got uh, two small categories. We've got camera, uh, which is fixed an issue where the camera could pass through the Tavol assault weapon. Fixed camera stability issue when players stop to turn while in ADS. Uh, next small category with only one fix is chat. Fixed an issue that caused chat input box to reset during game flow transition. All right, next up, we've got one of the biggest, probably one of the four, one of the biggest four um, fixes is gameplay. So this is massive. Um, so fix a bug that caused some players to respawn under the map. Fixed uh, vehicle emergency exit animations while in water. Fix an issue that caused players to remain stuck if they were pulled into a cinematic in co-op while investigating an intel. Fix an issue where visual feedback was not always triggered when the players fell and received damage. Fix an issue where players landed on a helicopter on top of another. Fix an issue where players could go through obstacles if spamming the climb button during an animation or revive. 
fix a graphical issue that occurred when players deployed a drone and then quick the ADS. Revise priority so that the game now prioritizes mission interactions over vehicle interactions to prevent blocking players in circumstances during missions. Frag grenades now deal more damage to vehicles, thank fuck. Fixed an issue where in four player co-op sessions players were able to launch additional sync drones after the host uh, after the host of the session left. Fixed an issue that caused the drone to stop delaying on some occasions that happened all the time with me and my friend. Fixed an issue where some players could not reach rank 10 field medics. That might have happened to my friend as well. I might have to let him know. Fixed an issue that sometimes allow players to go through the biometric door while in prone. Fixed an issue where the MK2 explosives and intel grenades were not available to buy Maria's shop after unlocking them. Fixed an issue where changing fire rate while ADS deployed the drone. Players can now cancel the go to animation before entering a vehicle by moving away from the vehicle. Thank God. Next up, we've got cover system. You can now do a camera swap shoulder. You can now do a camera shoulder swap at cover. <laughs> it was it was always the rotate the main. It will also rotate the main player on the spot. Lean aiming is now available from a wider distance, and the avatar is less likely to be seen. Looking over and peeking off a cover is now easier to do when holding the movement input towards the cover. Increase the angle to preserve the orientation of the avatar when stopping to aim over a cover to 45 degrees so the camera stays more often to its initial side. If you guys don't know, the avatar is what they call your character. Next up, we've got loot. Fix a bug where animation was not... Fix a bug where ammunition was not received after being picked up. Next up, menu. Fix a notification bug where the mission's name would not dis not be displayed if a teammate replayed a mission that is locked for the player. Next up, <laughs> we have got missions. So obviously, uh, there has been a lot of issue with missions on this game. It's been quite annoying, um, but uh, yeah, we'll. Um, but <clears throat> there's been quite a few issues with a lot of missions, but you know, it seems like they're fixed quite a few. So here we go. Fix the bug that causes the programmers to instantly die when in contact with a car, regarding of its speed in the Great Escape mission. Fix the bugs where players would have their weapon misplaced when entering Puri's offers in Meet Puri mission. Fix an issue in Rosebud mission where the mission did not consult if the player skipped the investigation step. Fixed an issue in um, the an indigenous genius ingenious genius mission where all players spawn in Dagraya's cell if they get killed in action after the extraction. Fix an issue during the onboarding mission where players could not talk to Holt in Erewhon. Um, if they had not checked the third helicopter crash. Fix an issue in the Guardian Angel mission where Cromwell sometimes did not go to her computer to trigger the mission's next step. Fix an issue um, in the Siren's Call mission where the players respawned inside the cave after being killed in action without validating the step. Fix an issue in the Great Escape mission where Carl did not drive to the vehicle if it was too far from its spawn. Fix an issue in the co-op that could block the mission flow for all players if two players joined at the same time. Fix an issue in the Great Escape mission where the player would respawn inside the prison after getting killed in action. Next up, we've got NVG. Fix an issue where the LG, where the L3GP night vision goggles blocked the weapon reticle and realigned um, the angle of the paramatic night vision goggles to align better with the character's eyes. Next up, we've got online. Fix an issue where sometimes players could not join a session using the in-game lobby if they stayed idle for too long. Fix an issue where players would get an Infinity 00002 error after a failed host migration. Fix an issue where players would remain in the infinite loading screen when leaving a group from PvE after playing PvP. Next up, we've got PC. Uh, fix an issue that made the Windows key not functional in menus during gameplay. Improve controls on PC to prevent conflicts when the same key was assigned to several functions. Fixed a crash occurring when trying to access options menu after changing graphics uh, preset. Improved the side mission scroll bar to make it easier to scroll when using mouse and keyboard. Fixed the issue present preventing the win plus shift plus arrow shortcut from switching displays in full screen. Next up, we've got photo mode. Fix an issue in photo mode where no visible change occurred when setting grain per, um, parameter to values higher than 16. Fixed a visual issue in photo mode when camera is underwater. Uh, there is now a message in-game informing players they cannot use photo mode when the drone is deployed. Fix the issue in photo mode where sometimes the camera would go under the map. Alright, next up, we have got a big, big one here, guys. A big one. We have got Ghost War, which obviously, if you, if you guys play, is the uh, PvP mode. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a little bit limited at the moment, but hopefully with these fixed, there will be some good stuff. So let's go through them. 
There's a lot, so you've got Ghost War, and then we've got a lot of subcategories. So we've got Ghost War, and so first one is Balancing. Sniper weapons no longer one-shot while using the Rolling Thunder perk. Sniper weapon damage has been slightly reduced to bring them into line with the other snipers. Weapons affected, HTI, the L11 5A3, the MA2, the SRA1, the TAC50, the Victrix. Drone health has been reduced, making it less likely to need more than one mag to destroy. Thank you. Next subcategory is connectivity. Fix several issues to, of the Infinity Era. Job done. Next subcategory is gameplay. Um, hit damage indicator accuracy. Hit damage uh, indicator accuracy improved when taking shots from the front. Hit damage indicator feedback is orientated in a top down fashion rather than from the player's perspective. Shooting down enemies will no longer can trigger will no longer trigger hit confirmations. Which should improve feedback on whether the enemy is down or not. Gas drone uh, damage now interrupts a player using a drone. Audio improved feedback of the gas grenade added a cooldown in the ping system to avoid spam. Next subcategory is maps. Tech port. We've added new objectives to prevent the accident of falling off of stairs while running up uh, slash down them. I get what they mean. The stairs that like interconnect. They've obviously added some kind of railing so you don't fall off all the time. Uh, we've made several, so we've, and then they just literally say we've made several, so we've made some general fixes to the maps. Fair play. <coughs> Matchmaking. Players will no longer join matches in progress, regardless of the round number. That's good. So then sometimes when people rage quit, you then haven't got to wait 10 minutes for someone else to join. That, that's good. Uh, improvements implemented to make balancing of the teams after matchmaking complete. Uh, next subcategory is milestones. Players can now pin more than one milestone for tracking. Next subcategory is replication. General improvements to player replication. Next one is stats. Fixed implemented to Ghost War uh, stat tracking. The total scale credits gained uh, stat now includes credits earned in Ghost War as well. Oh, okay, cool. Ghost War stats are now displayed correctly in the loadout menus. And the final subcategory is custom matches, which I never do, which is fix mission um, cursor on setting up match screen and fix an issue that was blocking players from joining a custom match. Next up, we've got a few smaller categories, nothing big in here. We've got a save. Uh, fix a bug where players spawn in error one after creating a new save on a slot that previously had progress. Fix a rare issue that sometimes ghost coins did not appear in the inventory after purchase. Next up, we've got character. Uh, fix a bug where players could get stuck after using their ability or frags while in while Panther class is equipped. Fix an issue where players would no longer have the items rule available after an emergency exit from a vehicle in water. Stamina, we've been through this. Increase the base stamina by 66%, increase stamina regen by 75%, and reduce stamina when sliding by 50%. Next up, we've got UI, which is probably the biggest category um, up to date. We've only got four more categories after this, uh, but this is the biggest one, man. This is a big one. So, first up, fix an issue where the minimap would not update when all players are detected by SAM launches. The mute icon is now more visible in, menu in menus on players' avatars. Fix an issue where sometimes the second perk slot would not unlock after being acquired in the skill tree. Fix an issue in co-op where one player in the team would get a permanent notification on the screen to go back to Madraya after being killed in action during the, the One Last Thing mission. Fix an issue where markers size alert values in the options menu did not trigger any change. Fix an issue where the beacon and ping shortcuts were not displayed in the control helpers for medical drones. Removed hard-coded text from several places in the menus. Fix an issue that could lead to unintended transactions if players move the cursor during the hold action buy or sell prompt in Maria's shop. Fix the NK3 ritual close quarters combat weapon name in menus formerly called NK3K Black uh, dash ancient. Fix an issue where sometimes there would be gaps between the tab icons after opening the, the loadout menu. Fix an issue where store notifications would sometimes have unknown characters after changing the game language to a language of the different alphabet. Fix several instances of incorrect unlock requirements and descriptions for items. Fix an issue where the objective board would sometimes remain locked if players left the game during, during the, the onboarding mission. Fix an issue where the input to consult intel was displayed as press instead of hold. Fixed mission text on most location discovery pop-ups. 
Uh, the camos earned in battle crates now indicate whether they are for gear or for weapons. Thank fuck, finally. Fix an issue where the vision mode ability on a drone uh, as an option on the drone HUD before the ability was unlocked. Fix an issue that prevented players from using the tutorial shortcut while driving. Fix an issue that prevented the notification to let players know when they were public matching was cancelled due to host migration. Fix several typos. Fix an issue where the mission completion tutorial pop-up would display after every loading screen. That's a lot of good stuff they've fixed there. I'm very happy with the way this is going so far. Next up, we've got vehicles. Fix an issue where some convoys would spawn vertically into the ground. Fix an issue where helicopters spawned from Aero 1 would sometimes be damaged. Next up, we've got visual. Fix an issue where thermal visual in binoculars was not working properly at night. Fix an issue that prevented the replication of rocket trail mission and explosion visual effects. Fix an issue where sometimes not load properly. Um, fix an issue where textures would, would sometimes not load properly into the Sentinel Corp naval base. Fix an issue where the chest would sometimes flicker in co-op if several players open them at the same time. Fix an issue where players sometimes would not disappear properly from the sight of players uh, when moving away from them. Fix an issue where helicopters sometimes would not dis disappear properly from the sight of players when moving away from them. Next up, we have got weapons. Fix an issue where the MAWL-DA rail was overlapping with the built-in iron sight um, of the A2 assault rifle. Fix an issue that allowed the P227 to penetrate heavy helmets and one-shot enemies. Fix an issue with shotguns that often cause only one shot pellet instead of several. Fix an issue that prevented uh, the, I don't, oh, this is, this, uh, how would you pronounce this? The Zataf's unique ability to work properly. It can now pierce helmets as designed. I know what that is, that's one of the snipers. Improvements made to the issue where scopes would flicker when players ADS. Flashbang can now blind through vegetation, such as a low bush. And the final category we have is World. Fix a bug where players would get stuck behind Maria's shop in Era 1. Remove floating objects from Aurora Data Farm. Fix an issue that prevented players from accessing the Scales Last Log Collectible. Remove a hole in the map near White Ridge Boviac in Mount Hodginson. Uh, Remove a prop structure that was floating in the middle of the ocean. Fix an issue where the water animation did not trigger when a helicopter hovered over the water. And that is everything, guys. That is the massive update, the 7 gig update. That is update 1.0.3. That is crazy. We've got another one, 1.0.3.1 at the end of this month. But it is crazy, guys. Well, there's a lot that is going to be done. I'm very excited to get on the game and have a look. Definitely going to be doing a live comm today as well. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below as well. I know it's been an incredibly long one, but that's just the way it is, man. It's been a huge fucking update, and um, it is amazing. So, yeah, shout out to Ubisoft um, and the Breakpoint team for fixing out so much so quick within the first month and a half of the game. They've, you know, they're clearly trying to make this game last the long, long haul, and they are really doing a good job at it, in my opinion. So thanks to them, and thank you guys for the support on these videos as always. Uh, you absolutely crush it. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys all in the uh, next video. Peace.